What up, Wolf Nation? Sean, Feeding the Wolf, here with you real quick. Rocking one of my favorite shirts from the Yeti Walker, Showtime Walker. You were born to be great, and yes, yes, yes you were. So, wanted to come at you real quick. I had um, a cool breakthrough, breakthrough for the last couple months. I was able to lose 18 pounds in during the holidays in just two months. And for a little guy like me, um, that's a pretty big deal. So, wanted to just share my experience of how I kind of did it. If you want super extra details, um, I don't have anything to sell you, but I'll let you know. You can hit me up in the direct message or private message, whatever it is. Okay. Um, basically, had an upcoming tournament that actually concludes comes to comes to head this Saturday, um, IBJJF or Jiu Jitsu tournament, and wanted to explore with going down a weight class. Um, and I didn't want to have to do it drastically because I didn't want to have a drastic hit on my body and take its toll. I wanted to feel strong and. And, and, and ready to go. So I made a commitment to do that months out and months in advance. Um, following Thanksgiving, I weighed myself in at 166, which is kind of an average walk around weight for me when I'm not being super serious about my diet um, and I'm just kind of chilling. Um, I did a three day fast after Thanksgiving. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, including Black Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it's a water fast. Um, I literally just drank water for those three days and it was pretty neat. Um, I, look, you could probably find, uh, go Google right now and I've talked to them. I've heard from them. I get it. Um, you could find on a Google search all the ways and studies and proof and evidence that fasting has these benefits and all the ways and facts and proofs and evidence that they're debunked. That's kind of the frustration of the nutrition world that we're in. Um, back in what, only in the 1960s, they were swearing that um, everything was more saturated fat and, uh, and, and cholesterol um, struggles. And more now studies, and, and it's kind of evolved into realizing the dangers of sugar. And so, and there's gluten, and there's all these things, and I get it. I get, I get lost in a lot of that as well. I make no, um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't, I don't try to fake knowledge on that. What I do know is that your body is your own petri dish. You are your own mad scientist. I know there is no one size fits all on any nutrition. That's why a lot of these big fads get big followings and then have a, a big fallouts as well. Um, because what works for me doesn't necessarily work for you. And what works for you won't work for the next person. But I can give you examples of my past and show you what's worked for me. And if you wanna pick from it, pick from it. I'm down with it. So I went, weighed in at 166, did a three-day water fast. Um, I didn't see a whole lot of change. Wasn't impressed. Was just hangry. And um, followed that up by doing a 24 fast, intermittent fasting. Um, I cleaned up how I ate. Obviously, I was more focused on my greens and getting all my proper nutrition in, staying away from a lot of sugar, complex carbs, and things like that. Um... But more importantly, I, um, I, I, I fasted for 20 hours a day and I ate for four and I still do that and maintain that now. Um, yeah, I'd have my breaks when, you know, my kids and we're doing something extra outside of my feeding period of time. But for the most part, pretty consistently, um, I was eating only between the hours of 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every single day. And then I was fasting the rest of the time. Um, fasting has its own... own you know, explanations of, you know, is it fasting if you have your bulletproof this and that and your coffee or your teas? It's whatever, guys. Uh, message me. I can give you every little detail. I, I've been very, um, very precise about what I do. I have a very strict ritual and I stick to it. So I, I can I can verbatim give you every step I took. And if you want to copy from that, be my guest. Um, but here's the results, right? I didn't see crazy results off a three-day fast, but as a result of that three-day fast, I think it set me up mentally and uh, just had me prepared, had my cravings killed and some things like that to accept a 24 fast, intermittent fasting uh, schedule. Um, so it's been the easiest thing in the world to me. I'm not suffering. I, it's, it, the 24 schedule is actually something that simplified it for me. Um, so I don't anticipate needing to come off of it. And, you know, and that's, that's the problem with a lot of diets. They're too strenuous um, and you can't turn them into lifestyle changes. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm past my two-month period of doing it 
and I'm very satisfied. I'm very con um, I'm very content with it. So I'm going to stick with it, and I'll let you guys kind of keep you guys up to date with how that goes. That all said, January and December, or December and January, right? Worked on my intermittent fasting, stayed consistent, stayed with my training, jujitsu primarily, um, and weighed in this morning, woke up 148. Money, right? Puts me right, right actually a little bit below where I need to be for my featherweight debut at Brown Belt. Um, so I'm excited about that. For a guy like me at my size, 18 pounds in a two month stretch, is pretty significant. Um, along the way, I, I lost the 18 pounds during the holidays, which isn't the most convenient of times to do it. Um, but the key is I'm not starving, I'm not hungry. Uh, my body knows where it can get its sources of food from. I'm heavy on my fats when I'm eating. Um, I'm an avocado enthusiast. Um, but I felt amazing in my training. I felt amazing uh, in my strength, my endurance. I've had a couple days, I'll be completely honest, I've had a couple days where I've hit the end of the gas tank and I was like, eh, maybe my calories weren't where they should have been for that day. Um, but for the most part, and when I say the most part, I mean like 98% of my training, I felt amazing. I can't understate that enough. Um, my attitude, my focus, my energy, it's been through the roof, okay? Um, I get up, again, I get up at 4 in the morning every morning. I'm in bed late, maybe 8, 9, 10, 10 p.m. at night. Um, I am grinding on a regular basis, um, and I'm able to do it and fuel myself within those four hours, which I think is pretty significant. Um, lastly, you know, I woke up this morning, 148. I feel great. I met my goals. I've lost weight. I'm shredded up. I feel good about myself. Um, I'll be adding a strength program and, and, and putting on some probably adding some calories, obviously, to my routine um, after the competition, but that's kind of how that's been. So if you're really interested in a lot of like the line by line, I'd be happy to give them to you, um, kind of what my ritual is. Um, send me a DM, send me a message, hit me up, comment below, give me your email, you know all the jazz, just hit me up. Um, you got me on Facebook, Feeding the Wolf with Sean Michael Coleman. You got me on Instagram, at Sean Feeding the Wolf, and you got me right here on YouTube, commenting below, whatever it is, okay? Um, not selling you anything. I got nothing to sell you. So hit me up. Feel free to. It's not a pitch. I'm not trying to gather your information. Um, but just wanted to update you with that. Hopefully I'll do well. But next time I'll see you, this will be gone. Hopefully I'll have a gold medal or two wrapped around this neck. Okay. Um, last but not least, I will be selling you something soon. I have a t-shirt that I'm designing. Um, it's going to be very simple. It's going to be the very first Feeding the Wolf official tee. Um, it should be getting released very soon on Amazon. Amazon. And you can be able to order it and rock it. Simple design. It's something that I would enjoy wearing, so I wouldn't have um, anyone design anything that I personally wouldn't want to wear a lot. I like stuff like this. I like simple, and I like sleek. That's why I rock the hell out of this. Shout out to Showtime on that. Okay, um, that's it for now. I'll be back with you next week. Kind of discuss some of the things. Hey, maybe my results. If my results change based on what I've eaten, I change it. I give it a three-week or a four-week testing period. But if you're truly going to be the scientist of your body of the Petri dish, you should be um, adding things and subtracting things based on whatever advice you're getting maybe from your nutritionist or your doctor or your own studies. And studying how you react and, and, and testing it. And if it's right, stick with it and amplify it. If it's wrong, reassess it and adjust. That's the key to progress. I use that in jiu-jitsu and I'm using that in my, uh, my training and my nutrition as well. Bye-bye.